hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you yet another very high quality text to image model which is montico messianic if you go through their github repo you can appreciate the quality of the images which have been produced with just text prompts with this auto non-regressive model which is simply awesome look at these images all of these images have been generated by this model by simply text prompt and that is what we are going to install locally and then we will try to generate similar sort of images on our local system i will also be showing you my gpu consumption later down the road but the good thing is that you can install and run this model on consumer gpus before we move forward let me give you a bit of an overview of this model because the model looks quite interesting and comes on the back of a solid research similar to messianic montico is a non-autoregressive masked image modeling text to image synthesis model which is capable of generating high resolution images and that is the hall of fame of this model that it generates high resolution images it is designed to run efficiently on consumer grade gpus it is trained on 8 h100 gpus for approximately one week montico can generate high quality 512 by 512 images that are comparable to those produced by stxl and messianic itself Montico was developed by Colab Labs and it is quite performant and we are going to now install it locally. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm running it. You can run it on Windows too if you like, as long as you have all the prerequisites. And I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000, courtesy masked compute with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's create a virtual environment with Konda. And we just need to wait for it to get activated. And that should be done. Let's also install the GCC compiler which is needed for this model. This is going to take a minute or so. So let's wait for it. And that is done. I'm also going to install all of these prerequisites, which include Torch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio and Transformers. And that is all done. Let's get clone the repo and CD into it shouldn't take too long that's already done and now let's install all the requirements from the root of this repo that is again going to take a minute or so so let's wait Oops. okay so it couldn't find it let me see okay because i couldn't cd into that so let me see okay so there was a caps lock there so i'm just going to cd into it and now let me install it yep so most of it we already have installed shouldn't take too long and while that happens let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. It is quite a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will also drop the link to the website in the video's description. Let's go back to our terminal. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. And next up, I am just running this Python app.py to start the demo and i believe this starts a gradio demo so let's wait and first up it automatically downloads the model which is quite good i don't have to download it from hugging face and the size is just over 4 gig so which is quite good so let's wait for it to finish 
So all the models have been downloaded and the demo is now running on our local host at port 7860. So let me access it in my browser. And there you go, the image generator is running there. Here you can just put your prompt in and then click on run. You can also select some of the advanced settings for image generation. So if I scroll down, you will see there is a negative prompt which you don't want in your image. And then we can set the width and height of the image. Maybe I can change it to 512 because that is what the training of the model was. And then you can set some of the guidance scale, which um, ensures the prompt adherence, higher the value, more it will follow the prompt. And number of inference steps are 64. You can select any example prompt from here if you like. So for example, if I just select with this modern architecture with aesthetic, it already selected and let me click run to start this okay so it has given us error so maybe we have missed any prerequisites in order to check it out okay so it says that the tensors are not matching here so maybe i will just change back the resolution of image to 1024 here whatever it was earlier and let's rerun it so this time after changing it it is working fine so you see that i just made it 1024 and it is generating the image which is quite interesting anyway let's wait wow look at that not bad look you see it's very very high resolution okay so now instead of giving their examples let's try out with our own prompts now in the next example i am asking it that a majestic shimmering dragon with iridescent scales perched atop a misty, snow-capped mountain surrounded by lush greenery and glowing runes. So let's check it out and look at the speed, how good that looks. Let's also quickly check how much GPU it is taking. So it is taking around just over 13 gig of VRAM. So make sure that you have that much VRAM there and look at the uh quality of this image really really nice it is really high resolution very very good quality and of course you can play around with advanced settings now i'm really missing some comfy ui workflow here because we could control a lot of things there i already have checked as of yet there is no comfy ui workflow support enabled and uh, the creators of this model say that because they're a very very small team very early stages so they don't really have any resources to create a comfy ui workflow and they are hoping that community would do so so if you are interested feel free to create a comfy ui custom node of workflow for this model okay so let's try out few more prompts okay i have reduced the size of the page so that we could see the whole image now in the next one i am asking it a breathtaking panoramic view of the grand canyon at sunset and then there is few more details Let's wait for it to generate the image. And there you go. Just like I said it, it has created a very, very fine view there. Looks a bit artificial, but that's what I mentioned later in the prompt. Next, let's try to generate a human image. So I'm asking it a regal Renaissance style portrait of a young woman with piercing green eyes. And next is adorned, <clears throat> sorry, adorned with intricate golden jewelry and a lavish crimson gown let's see what it produces i'm not sure if it is nsfw so i'm going to pause it and then show you what happened there you go so it has created a good portrait not bad at all a bit older uh, eyes are slightly malformed yeah, especially the right eye is not that good head seems yeah a bit very artificial so can i just say it maybe i'll just try to create some realistic image now in next example, I'm asking it a photorealistic depiction of a busy morning commute in New York City with people rushing to catch the subway. Not bad. Not really bad at all. Looks good. Bit cartoonish, I guess, but still not bad. So I took a pause. I went to my Comfy UI repository and I fished out this Comfy UI style prompt and now you look uh, see it looks a bit more realistic I think if we play around with prompt as I said earlier and uh, play around with the uh, configuration this should really shine through 
so what i'm doing here i'm asking it to have a women's studio photography professional color grading soft shadow no contrast shot with one strobe light directly over the camera in a 24 inch westcott rembra lighting and then the ar ratio so looks pretty well to me let's try another one from my comfy ui dog sitting on a chair at a table sunset window coffee cups on the table shallow focus 35 mm photorealistic canon eod ft mark and then dslr and all that stuff let's see if it is able to recognize that let me run it let's wait for it to produce it and sorry i'm just giving you details so that i don't just want to show you the images i'd want you to run it locally at your system and then use these sort of prompts to make sure how to improve it you know i'm not trying to edit stuff i'm just trying to make sure that you also become uh, empowered so that just like i struggled initially in this video where images were a bit cartoonish but now look at this image don't you love it so look at this <clears throat> here and prompt has made all the difference here i haven't changed any configuration all i have done is bit of engineering now still uh, if you see here uh, i said coffee cups on the table so it's not cups that is why there are two cups still of course we can do more prompt engineering to separate them out a bit but look at the glow the dog the eyes everything looks so good really really amazing let's try out a few more okay in the same exercise let's try out another one so in this one i'm asking it women working on a laptop at a cozy home office large window plants and then 50 mm photorealistic fujifilm and all that stuff nice let's wait for it and there you go so the face looks a bit um not that good i would say hand the the right hand is also not that well found but of course we can manage it the left <laughs> logo is also crazy but other than that look at the plant how good that looks home office is nice so i think i'll take it so in this one i asked it to girl playing guitar on a rooftop cityscape warm sunset and then few other information and remember the words which are early on in the prompt take precedence they have more weightage anyway not bad at all i think we can work more on the face because the face slightly uh, i mean not slightly it is quite not that up to the mark but other than that i think all the ingredients are there of a very very high quality stuff okay so let's try out another one now in this one i'm asking it that beautiful college girl at a library stylish haircut full body detail facial feature detail light atmospheric lighting let's wait what happens so you see when i when we use this prompt which i just showed you and i will just go through it and you see that this is my prompt you can type it just copy pasting feel free and then this is much much better than the previous one still we can work more on the eyes but i think this is quite good let's try to see if we can generate an enemy for the enemy i'm just asking it close up face portrait of a black girl wearing crown of flowers smooth soft skin big dreamy eyes beautiful intricate colored hair symmetrical enemy wide eyes soft lighting detailed face by gato shinkai stanley antigram and then some of the other stuff let's try it out let me run it and see what it generates and look at this one how good that looks really really good okay so just to keep the balance between genders let's try also this one one guy masculine sharp jawline hyper realistic photorealistic best quality and what else is there let me go right aesthetic ultra detailed let's see what it generates and there you go so not bad at all right so eyes are okay and yeah, there are a few improvements which can be done but not bad at all good stuff and here is another example where photorealistic one girl but this doesn't come as good as the previous one this is another style which i normally use in comfy ui especially for uh, and not in comfy ui but for the mid journey so this is not good for it let's try out another one now in the next one what i am asking it to do is to create a hyper realistic scene 
of this Kota tour, this featuring a worn centuries old church standing atop a rolling hill viewed from a distant perspective. The church stone facade bears intricate carvings and look at that, how good this looks. But I was hoping, yeah, but uh, okay, it's a rooftop, I'll take it. It really looks really, really good. And finally, in the last example, I am asking you to imagine a nostalgic, vintage-inspired scene of Sydney Harbour Bridge built from 1930-era ferry terminal, the bridge's art deco. Details shine in the warm after look at that. How good is it? Beautiful, beautiful. It's art deco with vintage cars and pedestrian strolling across the harbour's waters are dotted with historic sailboats and steamships evoking a bygone era of elegance and pro progress really good stuff so you see really amazing model i would say i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching